So are you tired of studying maths for hours and hours and not getting the results that you deserve? Well, I'm gonna go through five very key maths techniques that actually work and are really going to improve your grades. Number one, is flashcards. So these are really, really useful for when you're actually trying to memorize a concept or memorize some key vocabulary. And there are many websites out there to actually help you with the flashcard technique. For example, brainscape.com, which I'll pop in the description, have loads of different IGCSE mouse flashcards. So you know the key vocabulary, the key formulae, the key concepts that you need to get better grades. Number two are, of course, online math tutorials such as my videos that go through topic-based questions. So for example, you wanna practice vectors, I go through vectors for 50 minutes, check out the video above, and this can really improve your experience of very specific topics and fits into my general IGCSE maths system. Number three that you may not have considered is using whiteboards. So you can go onto Amazon, you can buy for 10 euros these whiteboard films, and this can help you then just stick it up on the wall, write down the problem, and it allows you then to actively engage with the mathematics on a daily basis because you're walking past the wall, you've got a quadratic up there, and then you're thinking, ah, oh, okay, maybe I can factorize this by doing this, this, and this. So by using whiteboards, it's a very active form of revision. It prompts you then to do daily mathematics, which is what you need to do to get the better grades. Number four, of course, is the Pomodoro technique. I'm sure that you've heard of already, but with a slight twist. So you work for 25 minutes, then take a five minute break, 25 minutes, five minute break. However, I've created some IGCSE practice worksheets, which are very based on actual IGCSE questions, which you can then apply your Pomodoro technique to. Again, everything about that is in the description below. And number five, are study groups. Now these have to be done very, very carefully. You need to make sure that you find some friends that are actually gonna help you actively study and make sure that you find a very formal environment so it is all about the studying. And again, using that Pomodoro technique, 25 minutes, five minutes, and making sure you get those active breaks whilst actually focusing on topics that you're not so sure about. And the great thing about these study groups is maybe someone is a real expert on vectors, whereas someone is real expert on trigonometry, you're getting that shared expertise, you're improving each other and then improving your grades. However, studying is not all about the actual methods involved, it's also about anticipating mistakes. And I go through the three worst ones in the video just over here.